Hayden's. So, an interesting concept to think about, and you don't hear this one very much, but uh, you know it has to do with the idea of the Trinity. Now, I have yet, I have yet to have any uh, Christian describe to me how the Trinity is supposed to work and it even make any remote idea of sense. How was God, his own Father, and his own Son, and a Spirit separately? Yet they're all the same thing. You know, this concept has never been fully explained in any way that is even even remotely rational. Okay, but let's just take it at face value. Let's just accept the fact that that's the case. That God is His own Father. Uh, you know, God and Jesus. Jesus is His Son, so therefore God is. You know, God is the Father of the Son. Yet they're the same person, so therefore He is. I know, it's confusing. Stay with me. God is also said to be eternal. Is Jesus eternal? Was Jesus always there? If Jesus was always there, when did he become God's son? They never answered, where is his mother? That's a whole other issue, but let's just say God can have children asexually, and so there, there's Jesus. When did that happen? Did, was this before the creation or after the creation? Was this before Satan fell or was it after Satan fell? Did God know he'd have to create himself into his own son from birth? Did he, Was he born? No, he's supposed to be eternal. So, wait a minute. God has always existed. Jesus is his own son, who's now supposed to also exist eternally. What? Do you see the confusion this causes? If if God is his own son, and they're both eternal, and they both existed permanently, well then why did they exist to begin with? Why? You know, you all you're doing is is creating a deeper issue with this this God thing, and I can't make heads or tails of it. And let me tell you. The Trinity was yet another of the major causes. Uh, you know, free will versus God's will. Um, of course, all the contradictions in the Bible. There was a lot of big issues. This was another one. I was try I tried to figure out the Trinity, and no one ever had an answer. And I don't know anyone who does have an answer to how exactly the Trinity works. But uh, my simple question is to all Christians who watch my channel or anyone else who wants to take a wild stab at it. How could God be his own son and both be eternal? If they're not, when did God decide to make his own son and why, being that he's supposed to be unchanging and knows the future and all the rest of that, how does that work? This is a question I challenge anyone to answer. And I mean anyone, even atheists, if you want to take a wild shot at figuring out how you can explain this, and even make it remotely sensible, please let me know. Because this is one I've never been able to wrap my head around. But don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.